Welcome to WNBA Basketball on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Los Angeles Sparks against the Seattle Storm. Here with Tim Swartz and Brian Banifatemi, I'm Blake Suniga, and it's good to have you with us. Screen by Magbagor. And while the season is still young, it feels like we're starting to get a grasp of which teams are contenders and which ones are pretenders. Well, some teams are certainly off to hot starts. It's always great to hit the ground running. Yeah, and on the flip side, there's plenty of time left in this season, so even some of the teams that have struggled out of the gate can still right the ship. What a feed by Brown, an off guard maybe by position and by trade. Her uh, passing abilities get better each year in the league. They get it back. Here's Diggin Smith, and finally they hit one. That's some tenacity inside, battling for the second chance points. Outside Clarendon. Six to shoot. Here's Brown. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Showing she is more than just a shooter. Lexi Brown takes it inside for two. Pass to Magbagor. Lloyd. For three. Hits it from three-point range. She's got so many tricks in her bag. She will find a way to hurt you. First outside. Ambi covered by Vivian. Absolutely no fear, guys. Mixing it up in the paint with bigger players. Pass to Magbagor. Diggin Smith. It's good. Nice awareness there by Magbagor, finding her open teammate for the bucket. And first quarter of action, two minutes in. Clarendon with it, covered by Lloyd. And here's Brown, two on the clock, sinks the three-pointer. A confident shooter from deep. When Brown finds just a little space in the perimeter, she wastes no time firing away. Now here's Diggins Smith. Pass to Lloyd. Outside for Diggins Smith. From past the arc, sinks the triple. Just is falling. She's having a strong quarter. The Sparks trailing. First quarter of play, and we're about three minutes in. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. She's covered by Ogumake. And the ball out of play, the Storm will have it. Storm with possession. Pass to Magbagor. Lloyd. Screen by Magbagor. Back to Lloyd. Best five on the clock. And she drops in the layup off glass. Sometimes it looks like Lloyd can do anything she wants out there. She is such a tough cover. Here's Brown. Three pointer. Rebounded by Vivians. You can't get into much better position for the three-pointer. Just didn't get it to fall. Outside, Diggins Smith. Pass to Magbagor. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Magbagor in the post. That falls. Nice feed that time from Jewel Lloyd. I like how Magbagor picks her spots on offense, knows when to look to score inside. Lexi Brown on the wing. Hits the three-point bomb. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Now here's Magbagor. Lloyd, Clarendon covering. Pass to Magbagor. Vivians. Skyler Diggins Smith outside. It is not good. She's made half of her six attempts. Clarendon with it. To the paint. Ambi. The second chance effort. And it's good on the land. 
Tremendous work by Hamby winning the rebound. And she puts it right back up for the bucket. Pass to Magbegor. Outside Vivians. Screen by Magbegor. From the top of the key, Vivians misses. That's a shoot around jumper. Absolutely no excuses for missing it. And that one's good. Oh, Gumake. That's the third bucket in a row from the paint. And I know nobody likes a traffic jam, but this defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Yeah, nobody likes the traffic jam. We can agree on that. They can't allow the offense to get those high quality looks inside. Pass to Hamby. Nurse. Off to a good start as she hits her first shot attempt. Love the selfless, intelligent play by Hamby. Puts the ball into the wide open shooter's hands. Outside, Diggin Smith. Magnagor. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. To the inside. Outside for Diggin Smith. Over Brown. It's good from about 19 feet. Another good pass. Impressive offensive execution from there. Yeah, passing has kept the defense off balance. Four straight field goals made off an assist. Now here's Clarendon. She hasn't scored yet. That, I'm sure, will change. With her first shot attempt, Ogumake with the rebound. Seattle leading. And with Neko Ogumake, she is always a threat to post a double-double. Yeah, she can really score it. And she hits the glass with a fury. She's also an excellent passer, giving her a complete game. Now here's Brown. Eight points for her. A good finish at the rack off the slick feed. What a start to this game. All offense early. Yeah, this is just playground stuff. Forget about defending. Just keep letting it fly. That's OK with me. Back to Diggin Smith. It falls for her field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. They've started strong. Shots are just falling. Oh, yeah, shots are falling indeed. They're off to a very strong start offensively. Let's see if they can keep it up. Magmagor grabs the miss. And here are the storm now. Six point game. Outside, Diggin Smith. Magnador. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Nice start as she's knocked down three of her first four shots and has hit the ground running in this contest. Substitution on the court. And the Sparks with possession here. Pass to Brown. Now Cook. Outside McDonald. Here's Cook. Now here's McDonald. Cook. She's covered by a good okay. Cook. That's good. A wide open three. They need much better communication defensively. Here's Diggin Smith. She's got 11. Over Brown. And that one's good, Diggin Smith. The more touches she gets, the more the lead grows. Pass to Cook. McDonald. Now Brown. And here's Jackson. Cook. She's covered by Ogumake. Megan Smith with it. On the wing, Neko Gumake. To the middle. Shot left block. And it's Seattle scoring again. Since coming into the WNBA, Neka has blossomed as a passer, always looking to help teammates. Pass to Cook. Back to McDonald. Brown with it. And now Jackson. From down in the low post, it goes. Number 22. Pass to Mengiadu. Megan Smith. And here's Mengiadu. It's good. There's a pattern taking shape. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. 
Yeah, four of their last five baskets have been of exactly that variety. Now here's McDonald. Wyatt so far offensively searching for her first points of the game. Here's Cook. Pass to Jackson. Back to Brown for three. Trains it from beyond the arc. You just can't let Brown get her feet set. Shoot comfortably off the pass. She will bury those all night. A free-flowing first quarter. Great scoring through one. It's the storm. They're up by six. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen from the Storm? Lots of their points have come from shots inside the key. And that's where they should continue to attack moving forward. I mean, why change the plan until they make you? Absolutely. Down low. And she finishes nicely on the layup. Give an assist there, uh, not for a pass, but for the solid screen set on the inside that freed her up and really just made that layup possible. Up top, Russell. Pass to Whitcomb. Over Clarendon. Second shot opportunity. And scoring with the play inside is Whitcomb. They're just killing them in the paint. You can say that again. I mean, the defenders aren't being nearly aggressive enough down low. They're just killing them in the paint. Thank you. Leisha Clarendon attacking. Here's Cook. Another three for the Sparks. A good decision maker with a strong feel for the game. Stevens can spot open teammates whenever she's out on the court. Now here's Whitcomb. Tight defense on her. The Sparks trailing. Outside Clarendon. Pass to Stevens. Back to Clarendon. Launches it. And it's Seattle with the rebound. Russell with it. Over Clarendon. Russell misses. Pass to Cook. Clarendon. Inside. Now Brown. Off on the layup. Russell with the screen. Yeah, that's not nearly the kind of defense that's going to prevent a player of her ability from scoring. And the Sparks call time here. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second period. Clarendon, that's good. Great communication on the inbound play. She got into good position, and the pass was just right on time and on target. Back to Russell. Clock at six. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Once Russell gets inside, it's already too late. She has a nice touch around the basket. Pass to Jackson. Score the basket. Her second of two attempts. And in this second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Outside, Diggin Smith. Russell. Out to the wing. To the paint. 
That one goes in. But defensively, they've been unable to shut down the most important part of the court, Brian, the middle. Yeah, and the point totals in the paint are tilted heavily against them now. Here's Jackson. Good work defensively by Victoria Vivians. Well, if this ball game comes down to the rebounding battle, they'll be the ones coming out on top. They've had a strong game on that front without question. Here's Russell. That's good, and she's now three for four from the floor. Some defensive breakdowns happening now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these high percentage shot attempts, it's not going to get it done. They need to figure it out. And that one drops for her. Now that's a killer crossover. The defender got totally shook up by that move. Down low, Megan Smith. Got it. Number seven on the night, seven for 11 from the floor. You know, they've been extremely efficient efficient and effective getting the ball inside. Totally. I mean, we're seeing some real shortcomings from this defense. They've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Hamby sets a screen. Fires the three. Kept alive. And she uses the glass on the layup. There's a reason Hamby shoots such a high percentage. She's intelligent in knowing how to score inside. Pass to Russell. To the middle. And that one's good, Diggin Smith. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Every pass is with purpose, and their last 10 points have come off of assists. Great team basketball on display right now. Hamby a screen. Glacia Clarendon attacking. Takes it out to Hamby. McDonald. Off target with the three. Oh, a top 10 pick in the 2018 draft. Victoria Vivians had a great rookie season. Yeah, unfortunately, she had a serious injury the year after that rookie year, playing overseas, missing all of 2019, missed most of uh, 2020 with another knee problem. But Vivians has persevered and has come back stronger. Pass to Jackson. Jacks up a three. The shot misses. Well, controlling the boards, they're plus five in that category. Yeah, and look, rebounding, it's not a glamour stat, but you look at the scoreboard and you see the result. Right side, Clarendon. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. There's the triple. Score the basket. Her second of two attempts. What a dangerous player in the pick and roll. Nurse knows when to take it. That's the key. Time knowing out, when to pass, oh, knowing so when to shoot. Seattle calls timeout. And the Sparks making a change here. Here's Russell. Six points for her. Outside. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time she's done that tonight on 14 shots. And be outside. Now here's Brown, covered by Lloyd. Count that one. Check out the energy Brown brings to her offensive play, crashing through contact and draining it in. Pass to Russell. Megan Smith, guarded by McDonald. Five to shoot. Victoria Vivians for three. And again, Seattle with the triple. Well, that's an assertive three ball by Vivians. She really commits to her shot selection from beyond the arc. Outside McDonald. Amby sets a screen. Tries again, and she sinks the layup. She is a coach's dream, guys. Absolutely tireless. Never gives in, never gives up, and that's what it takes to be a great offensive rebounder. Here's Diggin Smith. The shot's good on the assist by Jewel Lloyd. She is showing a killer instinct this quarter, looking to extend this lead. Here's the floater. It's rebounded by Mengiadu. Now 
now here is Lloyd. She's covered by Brown. Pass to Russell. Back to Lloyd. Over Brown. And it's Lloyd missing. The defense can't make a habit of giving her that shot. She just doesn't miss many of them. Hamby sets a screen. McDonald, no good. Seattle with the ball. 10-point lead. This is their biggest lead. Back to Diggins Smith. Pass to Russell. Lloyd. Back to Russell. Up and in for basket number four, and that makes her four for five. Such an advantage to have a scorer like Lloyd who can also pass the ball accordingly. Now here's Nurse. Lexi Brown on the wing. Pass to Hamby. Outside McDonald. Again, the miss by the Sparks. She is going to buy herself a ticket to the bench if she keeps shooting like she had this quarter so far. Russell with it. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Off target from three-point range. Here's Brown. The three-pointer, no good. So we conclude the first half. It's the storm. They lead by 12. And we'll see you right after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far, but we'll see if that changes. We're seeing a tremendous game from Skylar Diggins-Smith. Her rebounding, particularly the offensive rebounding, was superb in the first half. She was really battling hard inside. And that allowed them to get several shots on the same possession multiple times. I mean, her work on the offensive glass has been invaluable. Pass to Magbegor. Diggin Smith, she's covered by Brown. Yep, count it. An absolute floor general. Vision and passing are the trademarks of Diggin Smith's game. Left side, Clarendon. To the left side wing. Puts up a three. Good, and De'Erica Hamby gets the assist. I mean, that shot just becomes effortless for her when the defense is so relaxed like that. Pass to Magbegor. And here's Lloyd. From the yard. He inerts the rebound. Launches a three. Trains the three-pointer. That's two bombs in a row from long range. They're starting to heat up. The defense has stepped slow. They've got to take away that airspace. Ogumake outside. From downtown. They get it again. Vivians. The shot will not fall. If they could end every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Because nine times out of ten, that's an easy layup. Their second half has started well. They've been good on three of their first four attempts. I like to see that. Seattle in the lead. Outside Lloyd. Back to Diggin Smith. Teardrop shots. Count the basket. Look, you don't get drafted to third overall without having some serious toughness. And Diggin Smith just refuses to get bullied on the court. Pass to Hamby. And she floats it in for the easy two. Credit the assist on that one. Everything working for them out of the half as they've hit four of their first five tries. Here's Diggin Smith. Lays it up and banks it in. She's been one of their more reliable options today, and it's her shooting that has given them this lead. Right side, Clarendon. To 
the inside. A shot by Nurse, no good. And the Storm with possession. Pass to Magvigor. Down low, Deegan Smith. An easy two points on the layup. A great game for her offensively. She's been a factor. Now Clarendon. She has five. Nurse with it. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. The idea of setting a screen on that play, it was the, the, the good idea, the right idea, but the execution was not. Yeah, you really want to set a hard screen, but you also want to make sure it's a legal one. Outside, Diggin Smith. Outside, Lloyd. Let's go with a three. Here's Magbegor. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot, and we'll go to the line. It's on Dierica Hamby. I really like it when Ezzy is aggressive inside, challenging the defense. This is her first trip to the free throw line tonight. No good on the free throw. Drafted in 2020 out of Australia, Ezzy Magbegor had quite the rookie season. Well, she was just 20 at the time, helping Seattle to the Wubble title. And with each year in the league, Magbagor's really made strides, turning into one of the top shot blockers in the W. Pass to Nurse. Clarendon. Hamby left side. Goes back up. And it's good on the layup. Here's Lloyd. Seven points in the game. Outside, Diggin Smith. Here's Magbegor. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Down to five on the shot clock. Oakley McKay outside. Drops in the tray. Zero hesitation. That's how Neka Gumake plays. If she gets the ball, she wants to fire. Timeout, timeout. And the Sparks call time here. And during the 2020 Wubble playoffs, Jewel Lloyd was unreal for the Storm. A huge reason Seattle won that title. Lloyd was basically 50, 40, 90. She had 28 points in game one of the finals, picking up her second ring. Brown guarded by Diggin Smith. And the basket by Brown. She's enjoyed a very good day shooting the ball so far. She can bring them back into this. Outside, Diggin Smith. Pass to Magbegor. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Magbegor in the post. Count it. Playing with enthusiasm. Ezzy Magbegor. Big second chance bucket. Nurse outside. Clarendon. Pass to Nurse. This one for three, buries it from three-point range. Look, I'm not sure who was supposed to pick her up, but someone's going to get an earful from the coach for leaving her that wide open. Now here's Magbegor. Here's Diggin Smith. Basket good. You simply cannot say enough about the quarter she's having. I mean, every one of her attempts has gone down. Floats one up, and she comes up with the deuce. Perfect screen there. Set her up with a terrific look. Yeah, but that's a bad job by the defender to not fight through that screen to contest. You want to see more effort there. Pass to Magbegor. Lloyd, Clarendon covering. Here's Magbegor. The shot's good on the assist by Drew Lloyd. Ran her defender straight into that screen to open up the lane to the hoop. Now here's Brown, guarded by Diggin Smith. And the basket by Hamby. And that's using the bounce pass to perfection. One item that stood out is their ball movement. Things are definitely clicking, and more importantly, it's tough to defend. Pass to Magbegor. And here is Lloyd. Six on the shot clock. They get the rebound. A nice shot by Magbegor. You got to give them credit for the job they've done on the boards. Well, guys, they've done a lot of things well, but their rebounding is right at the top of the list. Now Nurse. Shoot 
Hawks over Diggin Smith. That shot by Nurse, no good. That's too good a look to pass up there, despite the result. Pass to Magbegor. Inside, Diggin Smith laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Boy, not a lot of resistance inside, and they're taking advantage. That aspect of this game, uh, you know, the play and the paint, has gone almost entirely their way. Absolutely. Here's Jackson. Here's McDonald. Foul call that time on the way up. And that will give him two chances at the first. It's on Mercedes Russell. Well, maybe the last player you want to send to the line. McDonald is a fantastic Barry foul shooter. McDonald. And she can't hit the second. And they've built a very nice lead. No signs of uh, slowing down, at least as far as I can tell. Pass to Russell. Lloyd up top. Over Brown. Lloyd, no good. She has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it really hasn't affected the team that much. Oakland McKay outside. Jackson pulls it in. Now here's McDonald. She's covered by Ogumake. The three is up. The Sparks get it back. Guarded by Russell. Fires from deep. McDonald, no good. She's just had a brutal outing. She still hasn't managed to get a field goal, and the team is struggling because of it. Pass to Russell. Back the door. Open with Hay outside. Off target with the open look. That's a shot she had to take. No question. The decision was good, just didn't execute. Up top, McDonald, covered by Lloyd to the paint, and the whistle blows. It's going to be on Lloyd. That is their first foul of the game. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. Left side, McDonald. To the middle. Here's Clarendon. That's good, and it's Gary McDonald with the assist. So far, going for more of an inside game here in the second half. Ogu McKay outside. Pass to Whitcomb. Ogu McKay back to Whitcomb. Shot clock at six. Tries to snap the cold streak. Cans it from downtown. Here's McDonald. Out to the left wing. Here's Jackson. And the layup is good. Great trip down the floor. McDonald working it to an uncovered player. Smart basketball. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Storm out in front. They're up by 11. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. And thanks again for joining us. We'll see what happens in the fourth. Mengiadu. Diggin Smith. Clarendon covering. To the paint. Mengiadu, no good. And the Sparks with possession here. They trail by 11. Here's Cook. Covered by Vivian. The lead now cut to single digits. They're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. No luck needed. It is working for sure. Five of their last six field goals, but they've come from inside the feet. She hit a couple threes in the first, but so far, just unable to get on court here. Clock at six. 
And she takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. They continue to get it inside. The defense struggling to just contain them. And look, when you make five in a row from in tight like they have, it also just takes pressure off of your perimeter, guys. Great point. And it's the Sparks ball. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. Getting fancy with the rock. Ari McDonald killing it. Seattle in the lead. Outside Vivians. Pass to Diggins Smith. Gets to the rim for two with a D all over her. That's a great job really to, to angle her body, shield the bigger player from the ball on her way to the basket. And you have to know how to finish like that if you're going to take it down low. And she showed all the capabilities of doing so. Now here's McDonald. Down low. Got it off in time to beat the shot clock, but it's no good. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. Just a ton of effort out of them down low. And they've needed every one of those rebounds. That's what's put them in front. Here's McDonald. And here's Cook. And that one's good. What a display of offense we've seen today, and it's only getting better. And it's only getting better as both these defenses are showing signs of wearing down. Yeah, the defensive effort has not been good of late. Pass to Diggins Smith. Vivian's with the ball. Yes, and it's Skyler Diggins Smith with the assist that time. Check out Vivian's using her strength to get the score. And here's Jackson. Hook. Over Vivians. Hook can't get it to go. Outside, Diggins Smith. To the inside. And out of bounds, the Sparks will take it. Substitution on the court. A little over three and a half minutes in the books now for this fourth quarter. Outside Clarendon. McDonald. Pass to Cook. And now Jackson. With the fadeaway. Again, the miss by the Sparks. Now here's Whitcomb. Outside Diggins Smith. Russell. Whitcomb. Clarendon covering. Let's it fly from 18. Whitcomb misses. The shot was there for her. She had to take it. And I don't care if she didn't convert. She should take it again next time. Takes it from 10. Doesn't go that time. And it's the storm with the ball. Diggins Smith, guarded by McDonald. She gets that one. Well, with the commanding presence, a good motor, and a high level of activity, Diggins Smith is truly one of a kind. Pass to McDonald. Hook. Outside McDonald. The three. Kept alive by the Sparks. Now Cook. Clarendon. Outside, McDonald. And she can't stop this drought. Another miss. She's gone cold, and I'm not sure she's their best option offensively as they look to cut this deficit. Inside, Megan Smith drops in the layup for two. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic, and it's a big part of why they've been able to get good looks. Absolutely, the defense unable to react quickly enough to, to deal with their passer. Good on the triple. It has been a three-point barrage three for them points. since halftime. Yeah, I don't know if it's been by design or by accident, but time either out, way, out. it's been impressive. Maybe the, the coach just went up to the locker room chalkboard and just uh, put a number three out there. On 
defense the Sparks. Nine point game. Pass to Lloyd. Six to shoot. There's the three. It doesn't go for her. Even without that three ball dropping for her, the defense should have done way more on that last play. Yeah, and then the D's got to be better as a coach. You can't stand seeing her having that much space to get her shot off. Outside, Diggin Smith. Now Magbagor. Lloyd. Looking to get it going. And the layup is good. They took advantage of some shoddy D there. They got to at least get a finger on her. Pass to Hamby. It's Kia Nurse on the wing. She's covered by Ogumake. She gets it in there. One of the advantages for Nurse, she's six feet, so tall for a point, allows her to get a clear view of the whole court. Outside, Diggins Smith. Magnador. On the wing, Jewel Lloyd. Pass to Magnador. It falls for the sixth time in seven tries this contest. That's an 86% accuracy mark. The Sparks trailing. Lexi Brown on the wing, guarded by Diggins Smith. Here's Clarendon. Goes up on the wing. Another one falls for the Sparks. Here's Diggin Smith. The Sparks grab the miss. If she can get to the rim, she'll usually turn it into points, but the defense stood tall there. Brown, guarded by Diggin Smith. Pass to Nurse. Over Ogumake. And the Sparks getting another bucket right there. Number Huge bucket from Nurse. She's played in a ton of big games, national titles, international competitions. So you know Kia Nurse has experienced all the big moments at such a young age. Here's Clarendon, covered by Vivians. And it's going to be a three-second call. Seattle leading. Diggin Smith with it. The floater and the layup is up and in. Mechanically sound, even on unconventional shots. And Diggin Smith does a pretty good job of playing to her strengths. To the inside. Hamby misses. Now Lloyd. Pass to Magbagor. Now here's Diggin Smith. She's covered by Brown. Clock at four. Here's Magbagor. And she gets it to go from the high post. And they're not finished yet. They're going to make sure about this win. Yeah, they're not taking any chances. This is how you close a game out. Just look how happy their coach is. On defense, Seattle. Down low, Hamby. Another shot. And that one goes in as she's fouled. It'll be three points if she can convert the free throw. Number 22. And so they foul intentionally. First person foul, team's first. First team foul. And a chance here to possibly put it out of reach. Lock in, maintain focus. He gets the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. 
outside of basketball, Diggins Smith also loves to bowl. He balances life on and off the court wonderfully. Well, their comeback hopes are uh, out the window. I think it's safe to say. Yeah, out the window, and the no window has been two. closed. It's a done deal at this point. Let's get home. What a final quarter they're having from downtown. A bunch of threes falling for them. And they might as well keep going back to the well. Work that perimeter while they're hot. And work it to the final whistle. He drops the first one. And that increases their lead to six. Well, the Jewel Lloyd story is incredible, guys. From getting drafted number one overall to winning Rookie of the Year and then winning multiple championships. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Nurse with it. Oh, Gumake's there. The tray. Rebounded by Vivians. Now here is Lloyd. And so it's Seattle winning this one. This one was up for grabs right until the dying seconds. And you know, I think what stood out was they showed their character when it mattered. Doing what had to be done to send these fans home happy. And that'll wrap it up.